Basic Tarpable Layouting Using Excel Hello guys! In today's video, we are going to teach you on how to make a tarpaple as an alternative when no tarpaulin is available. In doing this, we need to prepare the following. 1. Pictures 2. MS PowerPoint 3. MS Excel 4. Bond Paper 5. Printer 6. Glue 7. Cutter or Scissor The first step is the layouting. In this step, prepare the pictures slash images that you are going to use. Place it in one folder for easier access. The second step is opening your MS PowerPoint for the layouting process. Although there are other layouting softwares such as MS Publisher, GIMP, Photoshop, etc. We will use MS PowerPoint because of its simple features. In your PowerPoint, choose a blank slide. In the Insert tab, click Pictures. Choose the picture or images from the folder where you saved the files. Adjust the picture slash image. Extend it up to the edge of the slide. Add some logo slash seal to your image by simply copying it and then pasting it into the main picture or image. Place them in areas where they will add attraction to the main image. Click insert and click word art and type the school name or other info. Make some adjustment. After doing all the necessary adjustments and you are satisfied with its appearance, save your work by clicking file and click save as and select the location of your file to be saved. Example, desktop. After choosing the location for the file to be saved, a dialog box will popular here, you will name your file and save it as JPG file format or you can also have the option to save it as a PNG file. Thank you. 
After that, close your MS PowerPoint and open your MS Excel. Choose a blank workbook and then click the page layout and set bond paper size, the margin, and the orientation of the page. After setting the page, click the Insert tab, click Illustration, and click Pictures. Locate the image that you saved a while ago. Make some adjustment by stretching the image to your desired size of the tarp. Zoom out your Excel page for a better view of the layout. The blank rectangle symbolizes the bond paper. If you stretch the image to the right covering 5 rectangles, it means the image will be using 5 bond papers. Stretching the bond paper downward and covers 3 rectangles, means you will be using 3 bond papers. The total bond papers to be used will be 15. After adjusting the image to your desired size, you can now print your tarp apple. After printing, cut the margin at the right side of the bond paper. Cut also the margin below the bond paper. Do these to all the bond papers except for the last column wherein only the margin below the bond paper are cut. The right margin of the bond paper of the last line are also needed to be cut. After cutting all the spaces needed to be cut, the next step will be pasting and joining all the pages.
After all the work, don't forget to clean the area. Thank you.